Hey folks, Silver King here, back with another review video. Today we're looking at this recently released King Charles III 2023 Great Britain 1 ounce Silver Britannia. It measures about an inch and a half in diameter and a little, almost an eighth of an inch thick. Here it is next to a standard playing card. And here it is next to an American Silver Eagle for comparison. Some features on the front, you've got the King Charles III effigy. You've got his name, King Charles. This Latin phrase at the top is abbreviated. Uh, I think it's De Gratia Rex Fide Defensor, which translates to, by the grace of God, King, Defender of the Faith. You've got two pounds, the face value. There's a border pattern across the front of the coin. There's a mint mark right there. And then you've got this mesh-looking background across the front, which is gives it a lot of depth. It looks really nice. Okay, that's the front. Let's flip over to the rear. So back here, you've got some wording, Britannia, the year, one ounce, fine silver. You've got the artwork, obviously. Uh, on the bottom, it says Nathan, which is uh, for Philip Nathan, the original artist for this, for this coin series. And... Um, we talked about the artwork, uh, and there's a border back here too, a border pattern. And now back here, there are four built-in security features. So let's look over those. So the first is these waves in the, in the background. They kind of shrink and uh, expand in the light like that. This shield in the corner has some super fine lines. There we go, some horizontal and vertical lines that seem, I guess, impossible to put into a mold, maybe. Also on the front, while, while we're this close, you've got <clears throat> this micro lettering right there. Another Latin phrase, like, it looks like decus et tutamen, which I believe translates to just safeguard protection. Safeguard protection. So that goes across this front of the border. It's really hard to see when you're just looking at the coin, but the micro lettering is there. And finally, right here, there is this, um, what are they called? I think it's called Indicia or something like that. This, this little thing which turns from a padlock to a trident. It's really hard to see. Okay, there's the trident and there's the padlock. So just the shifting it in the light, you see a different image. Trident there, padlock, trident, padlock. All right, so as we can tell, super, super feature-rich back. And the edge is a reeded edge. All right, so that's the appearance. Very impressive. Uh, now that we've looked at that, let's talk about pricing. So you can get this for about 34 bucks new. I got it from an auction site, but from a reputable dealer. That price includes shipping. So I always include shipping because you know, I always use an auction site and include shipping because that's, I think, the most fair comparison of pricing because we're looking at overall acquisition cost. Obviously, you can get it for less per coin if you get multiple quantities and save on shipping. But for the sake of comparison, we always look at one piece shipped. And for this, it was 34 bucks. The cheapest one ounce round I could find was about $32. The spot price for silver right now is $23.95. So you're paying a premium of 10.05 per ounce on this, and that's super fair. So um, super fair price actually. So you, for a couple dollars more than the generic two ounce round, you get a bunch of features, uh, which I think are worth it. So let's let's talk about that. Let's get into the review. All right. So now that we looked at the coin and talked about the pricing, let's get into the actual review. So first, uh, let's review the appearance. So we're looking at the uh, the artwork, the detail, the size, the features of the piece. And for this, I'd have to get a 10 out of 10. It's designed beautifully. The artwork is wonderful. And it's just overall looks like a really nice item. So I'll give it a 10 out of 10 for appearance. Shipping didn't come directly from the bins, obviously, so we won't review that. For the price, it's pretty darn close to the cheapest of 32 bucks. So it's only a couple of dollars more, and you get a ton of features in return for that. So for the price, I'd actually give it a 10 out of 10. It was even about a dollar cheaper than the American Silver Eagle. So, so it's even cheaper than this and it has a lot more features built into it actually. So 10 out of 10 for the price. For security, 
Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of built-in security, and this really delivers. Uh, I haven't seen four security features on any kind of silver piece to this date, really. So it'd have to get a significant score for security. Actually, it'll go above a 10. It'll get a 13 out of 10 because it's the most secure piece of silver, I, I, I think, um, silver round that I could find. So 13 out of 10 for security. So overall, this would get a wonderful score of 11 out of 10. It's jammed with features and it's very liquid. If you wanted to sell this, it's super easy to sell it. So great coin, uh, great, great coin. If you don't have one, I'd probably get it. It is the first year of this Charles III effigy. So this could be one that you should get your hands on and hold on to just in case it turns out to be a little more valuable than others. And also they still have some left of the Queen Elizabeth effigy still out there. So it might be a good idea if you're interested in this to get you know, one of these and one of the Queen Elizabeth ones that are left. All right, well, thank you for watching. If you like the video, like it, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you very much.